man, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Close line! Cycle Sid needs to do to get back to this battle. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't wow. find a way to fend off this attack. I'm going to say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match. The Roman Reigns defended his WWE World. Here he goes. This might be it. Oh, my. This could be it, guys. He might have. with the 2016 Reign Styles match. So for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. technique he's looking at it oh boy he is rolling in matches like this guys you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes he looks for it once again you gotta believe this one's over game set match this one is over okay this time has to do it He's lining him up. If he sticks this, he is done. That has got to be it. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Psycho Sid now bleeding profusely. Beautiful technique. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Look out! Harsh impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Perhaps a powerbomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Into the powerbomb position now. And that's not necessarily where you want to be at this point in the match. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael.
Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. This could end it in a hurry. Nailed it. An absolute vicious assault on Sid. He's in trouble. Oof. Looking at it. Oh, what impact. An absolute vicious assault on Sid. Axe handle finds its target. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think often gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about Whoa. a treacherous environment to compete in. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What are we about to see here? Slam! Now he's working that exploit. Ooh, what impact. This one's over, guys. It's like deja vu all over again. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many looking for the exclamation point. <laughs> An absolute vicious assault on Sid. Oh man, Psycho Sid is in trouble. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Nice cross body. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? When this guy's on, look out. The elbow. Another one. Oh, he dodges out of the way. He might have it. Got Buster. This one is over. Psycho Sid really needs to dig down deep and fast. You gotta believe this one's over. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in... Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. The running senton. Crushing impact. But he's running on few...
action like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Bringing it back between the ropes. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, you're just asking to get disqualified. Oh, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, nasty impact. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Performance. 